Hello, this is Kenny Lee Burgess and welcome to How Do You Play Cigar Box Guitar. In this installment we're going to work on a walking bass line. The cigar box I have here is uh, has frets and the way I have it strung is I used uh, a standard uh, set of strings, medium gauge, and actually I'm using the fifth, fourth, and third strings. So basically it's the, uh, the A, the D, and the G. But the way I have it uh, tuned is G, D, G. Okay, so just before we start, let's number the strings. So the one that's closest to the ground is one, two, three. So the walking bass line starts out like this. So what you really do is you take these four notes Okay, so that's the third string open, third string at the uh, fourth fret, second string open, and then the second string at the second fret. So there you got the one, two, three, four count. One, two, three, four. And then in between those notes, what I'm doing is I'm adding the first string open. So then it sounds like this. Now what we can do is a little variation. So right now we're playing it like this. So a little substitution. So instead of playing the first part like this, we'll play it like this. So, so what I did there was on the third string I started at the third fret and hammered on to the fourth fret. And then played the first string open. Okay, so then you got a little variation. Okay, when you go to the next chord, the progression of the notes will be the same, and it'll sound something like this. Okay, so again. So the notes are 3rd string 5th fret, then 2nd string 2nd fret, 2nd string 5th fret, 2nd string 7th fret, and 2nd string 8th fret. And then I walk back down. And of course I'm always using that 1st string in between, so it'll sound like that. And one more time. Okay, so usually how it goes is you have this 12 bar blues going, so it'll start like this, it would sound like this. Okay, so far so good. Now just like we did in the first chord, on the second chord, basically we could, um, do that nice little hammer-on fill here. So, so we're playing it like this. So right there, so instead of playing that um, second string, second fret and the first note, you could start one fret higher at the first fret and hammer-on. Do that little triplet. So then you get... Okay, so it fits in real nice. Okay, so now we start to come to the uh, the third chord, um, which would be kind of start our turnaround kind of bit, and it's going to sound like this. Okay, one more time. So all I'm doing there is I'm actually just playing the the third string and the first string, and I'm actually uh, starting by holding them both at the second fret. Okay, so I go. 2nd fret, 4th uh, fret, 5th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret, and then when I go back down, I go 5th fret, 4th fret, 
second fret. Okay. Okay, so the next part of this turnaround will sound like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm playing um, the third string and the first string open, and then I'm going fourth fret, fifth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret, ninth fret, tenth fret, eleventh fret. So that whole big run sounds like this. Okay, so the whole 12 bar blues should sound like this. So you might have just saw that I, what I did was a little walk when I was playing that first chord. This. So before you get into that, that second chord, that fourth chord, you could you could just walk. You could basically uh, play again the third and first string and go uh, frets two, three, four, and then you'd be right into the the next chord. So the last little part, you might want to have a, an intro. It could sound like this. So one more time. And what I'm doing there is I'm playing strings two and one, and I'm walking on the second string, third fret, second fret, first fret, and I'm alternating. So I start at that second string, third fret, and go. So that's two, one, two, move down, move down, and then play both strings open. And then go, basically I'm playing again the third string and the first string, five, six, seven. So you got, so you got. And then for an ending, what you can do after you do that, say that long run, you go. So once you get down to that, like four, five, six, seven, just go eleven, twelve. Okay, so just one final note. Uh, if you might have noticed that uh, how I have my uh, cigar box tuned uh, G D G is actually a little part of how the whole six string would be tuned in open. Uh, G tuning. Because in open G tuning it goes D, G, D, G, B, D. So really it's, uh, again, it's right in the middle there. It's strings 5, 4, and 3. So if you don't have a cigar box, you could certainly just play this on a regular guitar uh, tuned in Spanish tuning, open G. And the other thing also is, just so you notice, is that um, that relationship, how I have it, is G, D, G. You can make that open D and make it D, A, D. And then it would be like the the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings of an open D tuned guitar. So depending on what key you like to play in, you could actually um, tune the guitar all kinds of different ways, as long as it still has that same interval, which would be a 1-5-1. One, one. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson.